Jumpsuit has a body without a body being in it. Can not tell me that the Lakers was giving scrunch butt? channel it's your girl Ja here if you're new here I make videos about my academic journey but I already finished my master's program <laughs> and I also make videos just about life in general and just leveling up and my attempt to continue to level up and do all the things that life is given and I am receiving if you don't know, a lot of the videos I used to do have been hauls, but I stopped making hauls because when I was living in New York, I was in the attic and I did not have the best lighting, so I was not going to do a haul with that lighting. I just wanted to show you all a quick a couple of things that I got a few weeks ago. Actually, I just haven't unwrapped it because I've just been so busy. I'm still unpacking and I know to some that may seem extreme like you're a month and some changing and you haven't fully unpacked yes I haven't organized all my clothes I haven't dibbled and dabbled and see what I still want and what I don't want there's so much things that I want to do that I've just been doing things little by little and it's been it's been somewhat working out for me. I'm, I'm just happy that I have my beautiful puppy, Appa. Come here, Appa. He just turned, come here, baby, hi, hi. Just turned um, four months uh, a couple days ago. So it's August, what day is it? It's August 5th. He turned um, four months on August 2nd. He's an Aries baby. And I'm a Taurus, so we bump heads a lot, but so it's just it's just me and him and so I've literally my life has just been around him and then also trying to get him acclimated as he come as he gets older and just training him and really just trying to figure out this dog life mom thing and then also still trying to somewhat have a life and which is why I've started doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So this is like before we get into that, I did go shopping. I did shop at Aritzia. Got a few things from Zara and scams as well. Now, the reason why I did go shopping was because I do not have a lot of professional clothes. During my last year at uh, my last job, I was working remote and I didn't have to worry about what I wore to work. And there, it was a black woman organization, which meant that we just came as we were. And so like, even when we were going into office, a lot of people was wearing crop tops. Me, on the other hand, I was like wearing sweats and just chill fits that still was like profesh or whatever the case, whatever you believe professional looks like, it was still appropriate for work. That's not the situation where I'm at now. People are dressed up more. They're like wearing button downs and slacks and like, all these things and that's not me but I want to still be presentable at work and also comfortable in the gear that I do wear so I also did get some things from Sheen too um, to kind of find some professional stuff so stay tuned for the rest of this video so I'm not trying stuff on I just want to show you all what I got so Aritzia had a sale y'all they had a sale and I definitely tuned in like this cardigan was originally $128 y'all it was on sale for 70% off so I thought this cardigan was super cute and it's like kind of crop but not really it'll definitely stop like at the end of your belly and a lot of like professional pants and pants anyway come a little bit like high rise so so I do think this it was definitely a steal so I'm happy I got that and I got some more TNA socks because I don't have a lot of two socks and the TNA socks that I did get before, which is like kind of why like I'm questioning myself as to why I bought them again. But the TNA socks I did get lasted me probably about three years before they like just like the material was lost in the sauce. But this is a goodie. These are the two items that I got from Aritzia. Shout out to Aritzia, y'all. 
Okay, so the next item that I bought was I got some I got a few professional stuff from Zara. Well, what I believe is professional, right? So I don't have a white button down, but Zara has some button downs. Some of the Zara button downs though, I like I don't like their material. But for this material, it was pretty good. It fits, it has like that box um, back. It has like a box cut to it that I thought was pretty, <laughs> pretty soft, pretty cool. So I like this shirt a lot. Can't wait to wear it um, for every day, whether it's like work or just going out. I think the top is super cute. I got me some additional black pants. I feel like you can never go wrong with getting more work black pants because, you know. So I got me some high top ones. I had, these are kind of similar to, and so these are kind of similar to another pair of Zara pants that I got for work, but I really, really like the Zara pants that I got because it like lifts me and sucks me in in all the right places. And so I really like those pants and it kind of felt the same. I also got this top that I thought would be cute. It's really hot in Texas, and so a lot of the a lot of the tops, my professional, a lot of the a lot of my professional tops that I had um, in New York, I don't necessarily, I can't necessarily wear it out here because it's so hot. Or if I am wearing it, it's just like I'm being really quick to my car really quick to the office wherever there's AC. So I, I did make an attempt to try to get like shorter shirts, well short sleeve shirts so that I could wear it outside without it being a problem. And also having shirts and fits that's kind of, that I could wear at work and wear somewhere else if I wanted to. You know, without it being so different that I can never wear it as a long, only if I'm working. <laughs> I messed up my words so much just now. I hope y'all understand. So what I'm basically trying, what I'm basically trying to say is that I want essential pieces that I could wear both at work if I wanted to and other places. The issue that I'm having now, and I don't know why I'm screaming, but the issue that I'm having now is that a lot of the stuff that I wore in New York, I would only wear in a professional setting because that's not my style. The clothes I was buying was, they're like really dressy shirts from like J. Crew, pink and loud and screaming like, I'm a professional. Like, and I don't like those type of outfits. I like more chill, calm vibes, you know, but still like chic, like, yeah. So the next Zara top that I got is this black top that I thought was so cute. It's like, it has a short V, a little bit, not really. Um, and I just thought this top was really cute and I think that it really complements, it will really complement my neckline. And that's one of the things that I wanna do, you know, compliment my neckline. Yeah. Uh, if you ask me, Sheen is sometimes a hit or miss when it comes to quality clothes. I mean, obviously. Um, but I feel like sometimes when you do do the right searching, you may be able to find something that you like and something that looks like, hey, she must have gotten that at Banana Republic or something else other than Sheen. I tried to be very particular with the items that I did buy, but I like a lot of like, I'm still leaning more more into my style. I don't know where I fit in yet, but I have an idea of the looks that I want to, of how I want to look and how I want things to essentially look on me. Okay, so I got this white shirt. Um, this is supposed to be like a professional shirt, so it, it is kind of like asymmetrical a little bit to give it a more pizzazz that doesn't look so, hey, I'm just a white shirt type of vibe. And forgive me, I'll learn how to better explain my clothing as I begin to do more reviews. But right now I'm in the space of this is that and that's that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I did go ahead and get me, I feel like cardigans are in right now. Is that is that what's happening? I remember a long time we stepped away from cardigans. But I feel like 
we're back into our cardigan phase. I mean, it could just be me thinking that because I'm wearing cardigans, so I'm like, we're back in it. <laughs> but I really think we're back in our cardigan phase. I'm so serious. So this is also Appa approved. I got me one of these long, stop, long vests. And this is super cute and it has pockets. I didn't realize how much stuff I got from Sheen until now. So please forgive me while I go, as I go through this and jog my own memory because I do keep, okay, okay. What is this? I did buy this wrap shirt. I think that's what this is. This I might have to try on just because I don't remember like when I say I bought this a couple of weeks ago, I legit mean that and I'm just undoing it for this video. So forgive me. Okay. Oh, I think this is one of those wrap shirts that I can't seem to wrap right now because my head is all over the place, but it does look it's interesting. Let me show. So this is kind of what the shirt looks like, I'm guessing. So, okay, okay. Okay, so the hole is inside here. Ooh. Only YouTube could make me try on clothes after I said I wasn't trying on clothes. Okay. So still, how do I type? Oh, okay. So you can type from the side. And then you have it like this. Now, I personally probably would wear a shirt under this just because I do have like bigger chest. And this is the shirt. I thought the shirt was cute when I did see it online. I think it is still very much cute and quick. And so I do like this top a lot, actually. I got me another wrap top. Um, the, this color, this army color is really cute. This one has a collar. And um, so these are the four tops that I got from Shein. And I also ended up getting me a pair of regular black flats. I did buy slides from Shein before and I was for graduation. I bought these white slides that kind of look like the Hermes slides and now I just want some regular black slides. Some regular black. I mean, I don't I doubt when you buy shoes from Chain. I doubt they last long, but this was something that was just quick because I only have one pair of professional shoes. Other than that, I've just been wearing my Stan Smith sneakers, but I always feel like you can make it look professional. Like you just have to have the swag. You know, you have to have that swag. To, to make certain things look okay. She's not dressed up, but she is ready for work type of gear. So I have a way of doing certain things like that. So that's why I do wear my Stan Smiths. But other than that, I just have like one pair of professional shoes. So, and for my favorite selection, I did go ahead and ordered me the new nylon Outfits, clothing. <laughs> Outfits, clothing from Skims. All right, so for my first order, I got, yes, I got the Cotton Lounge Castle Gray Chalk. Con no, Contour Lounge Castle Gray Chalk in a small medium. And I got in a Cotton Rib Tank Juniper. And I got the Cotton Rib Boxer Juniper. So um, I'll show you all the jumpsuit first. Oh, this color, this color, I knew this color was gonna be fire on me. I knew this color was gonna be fire on me. You see it, you see it. Like, do you see it? Do you see it? This color, watch I me, mean, this color is such a beautiful color. And the jumpsuit already has a body without a body being in it. So that's how you know it's gonna give. The jumpsuit has a body without a body being in it. Slay. So this is gonna look fire. I already know. I don't have to try it on. I'll, if you wanna see updates of me in any outfit or anything, follow 
my new slash old slash I didn't really post much on it Instagram job ago I deleted my personal page for personal reasons <laughs> I didn't want to have Instagram anymore um, where I felt like I was constantly engaging with people the way I thought they want me to engage so my personal page became very not toxic for others but toxic for myself like I don't know what I would post on my new what I post on my page with people I don't know follow me and what I post on my page with people I know follow me is like two different versions of me and I side more with and I align more with the other version where it's the new page where I don't know people follow me so I would say follow me on that page if you want to see more fits you want to see reels you want to see any content follow me on that as well as my TikTok because I will be posting more I promise I will be posting more on both of those sites but before we go any further why didn't I tell me my lips was getting dry okay like what this is the glow oil from Dior it's pretty cute but it doesn't beat the other lip balm that I got from them I don't think it beats that but it's still it's still doing this thing so this is it it's cool and the stretch on this I got this in a small because skims be skimming sometimes and when I get a medium it's stretchy it doesn't age well like but when I get something that's a little bit smaller it always fits better or maybe I don't know it just fits better so I got the juniper set which I thought was cute I do have this in black but like I said no I have it in the not the onyx but the other one I don't know the name right now bone I have this in bone but bone didn't age well but I also got it during the first drop so that could be the reason why it's not aging well because it's like old as shit just saying um and this is the top the top is cute I was thinking about just like want to go to groceries get something casual so in this next skims order I did go ahead and buy so I did get go ahead and get another um bralette from skims and when I tell y'all skims bralettes eat I would never tell a lie like I might tell a joke but I never tell a lie which is why I have it in three colors now I have a brown have well I have it in cocoa and I have it in onyx and now I have it in sand I thought this color was cute um so like when I'm wearing like any like white tops or like a black top a black button down I can wear it open a little bit and you know show a little bralette tee I think this is cute so this is why I bought it the next item that I did buy was the contour leggings and the shirt to match I was thinking about getting the bra but honestly I'm tired of getting sports bras that do not have a strong support and so I was nervous about it and so that kind of steered me away from getting the sports bra which I don't regret but I kind of do wish I would have bought like a matching set so I could have a sports bra to go with the leggings but that's because I'm like matchy matchy but on the other hand I'm kind of just interested in getting sports bras that's actually holds me in because now that I am taking jujitsu I was wearing one of my sports bras from like a few places one from H&M and another one I can't remember but both of those sports bras had my chest just here here and there sports bras matters especially <laughs> sports bras matter sports bras matters especially if I am um, being active now if I'm just walking around which I think this collection is something that's supposed to be for like everyday wear and not necessarily active wear but if I am just walking around to understand but I also do want something that's going to lift and hold not just lift but like lift and hold you see this this doesn't lift and hold anything but this is Amazon and this is something I wore to get my hair done so I don't know if I'm going to spend $44 on a sports bra 
that's not going to hold me up. But I never tried skim sports bras, but I'm I'm sure they fit lovely. I mean, if the bralette fits great, I'm sure the sports bras fit great. I don't know, but I stuck with the gray chalk theme. I think gray is nice, and because I am trying to move away from wearing so much black, I feel like it's the closest thing to black, but it's not black and it still looks cool. You know, <laughs> like, but this shirt feels so stretchy, y'all. I got the shirt in a size small medium the same thing as the leggings but the shirt feels so good like it feels like it feels like kind of like a sports shirt so i'm surprised that it's not hmm. and these are the leggings oh wait i didn't know the leggings was giving scrunch butt can you tell me that the leggings was giving scrunch butt oh yeah these <laughs> the leggings got butt like i said if if it has body before you get in it it's gonna give you body that's a little jaw tea <laughs> and last but not least i did get me some new everyday sneakers the a6 sneakers i was wearing for my everyday wear is worn out i got my wears i mean i had it for almost I think almost two years, so I did my job in them. But I did go ahead and get me the New Balance 990s. Um, I thought these was clutch. I like them way better than the 550s because I think the 550s come with like a gray shoelace. And I think I like the white and light gray combination, but you see this a lot. Everyone in a mama has damn near like great new balances but the ones you pick is the key to everything so pick the right ones i think the 2000s are okay um i like the 990s to be honest so these are the ones i got and i think that they will also go great with the gray chalk that i got from skims you can see the distinction here and so i was very particular i'm not gonna lie like with the way that i bought all of my items because when i well at least the way that i bought my skims things because i want everything to fit nice and i want everything to look nice together and have a cohesive look for when i do look because like i've been saying the reason why i've been taking so long to kind of like finish unpacking is because i do want to clean out a lot of the clothes that i do have there are there are a lot a ton of tops that i have that do not flatter my body and i'm kind of moving away from wearing stuff that doesn't look nice on me just to wear it and i'm kind of moving away from like wearing clothing that looks cheap now i'm saying that instead of saying wearing cheap clothing because i do feel like you can find inexpensive clothing that does not look like it wasn't five dollars there are some clothing that looks like this that was five dollars you know it's a thin line so you have to be careful so i do want to be more intentional about the clothes that i do buy and what i have in my closet so that's taken me a while but trust and believe me you guys are going to see the finished product the finished product is not gonna be no time soon though I'm gonna tell you that, but you will see the finished product. The finished product is probably gonna be just throwing out $500 here, $1,000 here, and trying to um, pay off any debt that I have for my credit cards is not feasible. So, you know, I'm taking my time when it comes to this. I'm not in a rush um, to have the biggest and baddest apartment. I'm really just trying to make it a home for me. This is my first home and I want to treat it like it's a forever home. Even though I know that I'm going to be moving and I'm going to get me a house. I'm going to have all these things. What I have now is important and how I feel here is important. I want to make sure that I'm treating my space right and I'm taking my time. There's no rush. But it's just annoying when people are like, oh, did you finish your closet? Did you finish your closet? Did you finish your living room? Did you finish your bed wrap? Why are you coming over? You're not invited. Ah. 
let's just enjoy this Saturday night together. Cleaning and doing what we need to do. <laughs> okay.